and I've seen some all-stars do great with this glove. Coach Clay here. Parents ask me all the time. They have a six, seven, even eight-year-old, maybe five-year-old, just starting in the game. What glove do I need to get them for them to have the most success? Well, I've been giving one specific answer for the last 10 years, and that is the Mizuno Prospect Series Power Close 11-inch glove. I got this one out of a used played against sports bin probably 10 years ago for my son. What I liked about it was 11 inches, especially for a beginner, maybe that five, six, seven year old. It is big enough to give some room for error, but if they train with it for a little bit, they can become plenty strong enough to whip that glove around effectively. Um, but this glove has lasted for nine years, 10 years. My oldest son used this glove for three seasons of coach pitch. I've had kids use it in my facility for uh, a time or two to, to get a feel of a broken in glove. And then my youngest son used it through six and seven year old ball. And it was a great mitt. I've recommended this mitt to over two dozen parents over the years that have gone out and bought that mitt for their child. And I've seen some all-stars do great with this glove. Now, the child's not gonna be able to break the glove in by themselves. It takes some doing. Um, but with what I love about the glove is the Velcro, you can undo it. An adult hand can fit into it, okay? So when you're breaking it in, you're actually gonna put your hand in it as the adult to be able to manipulate it and to break it in. As I've said, I've been recommending this glove to anybody that asks over the last 10 years. I believe I recommended it uh, a couple weeks ago and one of my players came in with a Mizuno Power Close 11 inch model. It wasn't the exact model that, um, that I prefer, but um, I wanted to see if I could break it in all the same. So this is the glove that came to me. All right, it's still the Prospect Series. This one's still 11 inches. Um, the difference is it has this flex palm feature right in there. And not sure if that's gonna be any different than the traditional Power Close Prospect model that I've recommended. It's a little thicker right here on the wrist, um, but I can still un-Velcro and get my hand in. So this is a new model, okay? And I've got my hand in here and what we wanna do is develop a pocket right at the base of the pointer finger. So I'm gonna get a ball, and what I wanna do is I want to put that ball at the base of the pointer finger. And then what I wanna do is I wanna roll the pointer finger down to the base of the thumb. So it sort of looks like this, okay? It looks like it's all scrunched up, okay? But what's gonna happen if you roll that thing up, you can put a belt on it, you can stick it under a sofa or a bed or a mattress, and you can have it sit there for an hour, two hours, and when you come back to it, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have this bowl that's been created, okay? So you get the bowl created, you wanna stick your hand in there, okay, so with this bowl, and then you want to keep being aggressive with the pocket down in there, but you want to fold the fingers back out. So you sort of do away with the bowl, okay? But, and you can see I'm manipulating that thumb, right, to be a little more straight. Manipulate that pinky in the tops of those fingers while I still hit in there. So I'm manipulating the fingers out, but keeping the palm in there. So I've got, so I've got that deep pocket right in there, okay? Now, you can bang it with your fist, right? And just keep opening and closing. Now, you can do it with a ball, right? And what we want to do is we want 
that thumb, we want that thumb and middle finger to be touching. Maybe even a little more on the ring finger is okay, but I shoot for right between that middle finger and ring finger. Get the ball, go 10 minutes, right? Maybe a mallet, right? And I'll even just put that ball, right? In that glove, right there where I want that pocket, right? and just manipulate that glove around it, okay? And then we definitely want the tops of those fingers to be pulled out, okay? Now, in order for our child to use it, it needs to be broken in enough that when it sits on the ground, it falls down, okay? So a couple ways to do that. You can put the glove, the thumb, between that middle finger, ring finger, or right on that ring finger, and you can sort of fold it back and forth, right? Sort of getting a little bit of crease there, teach it to close in that position, right? Open, close it. Okay. And when you get that hand in there, really try to get that pocket deep and turning those fingers out at the same time. I will actually take a glove when I'm breaking it in for some of my players and I'll actually play catch with it. I'll catch and do defensive drills with some older players that throw a pretty hard ball and just catch it where I know it's supposed to be caught. And, you know, breaking in a glove like this could take, you know, seven really consistent days of pounding, manipulating, um, and playing with the glove. And I don't think you can overdo it because the more the glove just opens and closes on its own, the better it's going to be for a young player to learn how to catch. So seven days checking in and the glove just isn't flattening out on its own yet. So not quite ready, but I did put it on the six-year-old's hand, see how he'd do. And as I expected, just needs another week. That glove needs to really open and close, be able to catch that tennis ball uh, without a whole lot of effort from the player, but we're on our way. I did throw it on a nine-year-old's hand and, you know, he was able to use it fine. So we're on the way, getting that glove broken in. I hope you guys try a Mizuno Power Close Prospect model, 11 inch for your beginner. And, um, you know, if you like these videos, subscribe and we'll see you down the road.